and they cave. <laughs> Obviously optimistic that they roll over. Felt a bit nitty though. I don't really like being a nit. So felt nitty like not not to counter. Like I'm all, like I'm fine with that. Like you know, I'm in business. It's fine. I just meant it felt nitty in the sense that like initially I was like relatively comfortable with what they were asking me. For. So it felt like I was taking the pit. Like it felt a bit like you're really gonna do this, and I was like, because of like you're really gonna be this, you're really gonna be this cheap, and nah, I guess not. And then you know she started talking to me. And I was like, Fuck. Okay, so I will be that cheap. Dirty Hyena came through with the sub. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Just bought into the quantitative strategies back in an hour or so. Thank you. It'll be in the uh, dashboard. Um, players who can bust me. <clears throat> this might be a punt. Um, it doesn't feel like a punt, which is why I jammed. So, it's, I mean, like, it can't be that far off the, mo the mark. Like, I have less than 20 big blinds, and there's three players who can bust me on a stone bubble. Um, I feel like ace-jack is a part of my raised folding range. Can't jam that. Um, feels like ace queen's not a part of my race folding range it feels like it's not a part of my opening open fold range so i just jammed but maybe i'm wrong um if there were more players who could bust me i probably i probably would slot it into a min race fold range or something like that but wow i'm coaching so much <clears throat> this is less coaching this is more just like gambling SPR is just like it's like not that that's like a situation I'm trying to get myself into because I'm, I'm not but it's like it's not as bad as it looks you know what I mean like I have seven outs like and it's, that's like one of the worst scenarios that's gonna happen we're jamming here this is more, much more standard um than the previous spot base queen much easier to, to slam there I think um <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna slam here too. I mean, like you can make arguments around race folding and stuff, but I'm just gonna punt. But they fold. Yeah. Yeah, that ace eight spot is just like there's the odds there are just really good, right? Odds, like the stack to pot ratio is just really good. like the most of his pre flop range still misses that flop. Twenty three bits the small blind. All right, so we have. Burst the bubble, and we are officially in the money. That's what that means. Open this up. I think this table froze. Okay. I didn't see like, you know, he couldn't respond, he was disconnected, but I didn't see like a time bank over his head or anything, and I was like, what, what happened? What's going on? But we were good. Ace Queen fade the Jack. There we go. We're back in this game. Ew. Might have called if I had a bit smaller. It's not nice to be in a flip there, but we hold, so it's fine. Trying to accumulate chips, trying to vacuum them up. Seven of eight. I limped the, sorry, I yeah, completed the small line with 4-5 off and check, check, flop, check, check, turn, get to the river, I win, nice. I'm going to raise call the queens for under 20 bigs. <clears throat> if there was a little bit more ICM pressure, I think I would fold, but I think I'm still going to call here. I also think that like, he took a little bit more time than usual, and like it could be aces, but I don't feel like it's kings or jacks. I don't feel like it's ace-king either. Aces, that sucks. It felt kind of like an aces timing or like a nines timing or like a tens timing. Darn. 
I didn't know if you're a winning player or just got lucky a few times. I'm still trying to work out if poker's for me. Um, it's, it can be quite difficult. Um, you know, you can have a results over a large sample, uh, which is what people are talking about. You can also use your database to try to like hone in on whether or not you're winning um, using like adjusted EVBB per 100 tools and things, um, particularly if you use those tools and you filter out KOs. Um, which can be done. Talking to like high level players and having them evaluate, evaluate your thought process can be uh, another way. Trying to get honest feedback from people. <laughs> Sorry, flop to flush drop. Have I done a challenge where I try to beat micro stakes? I have not. Lord Barr, am I aware of the Make Online Poker Great Again movement? And am I a part of it? I'm aware of it. Am I a part of it? Loosely. Um, if there was something that like made a lot of sense that they that they were trying to accomplish, would I would I would I get involved? Yeah, sure. If like particularly if it was brought to my attention, I should. Um, but am I like you know holding my breath or doing something you know very actively? No. Nope. Let's start out four ways, so it's a bit intimidating once the board pairs. But on this particular board texture, I'm still going to check call here on this turn. PS5 reduces as well. In four five. <clears throat> means we got him which means we got him we got the ko we got the money we got paid a little bit good check that uh super i don't like wasting shit i think four betting kings is like you know probably not the worst idea i should probably go bigger probably just make it 240 stick to 3x Not too small this is definitely too small just made it 240 I'm really talking about a mouse Pretty comfortable with getting. I should have made it bigger. He has more tens because I made it small. <clears throat> Not that I'm like paranoid that he's got a ten, but he can have he can definitely have more of them. Not a very good turn, is it? Feels like this hand jams has like the most efficient answer a lot of the time. Not all of the time, and maybe I'm wrong about that. It feels like some other variations of this hand would bet smaller. Um, feels like jacks would bet smaller. It feels like queens might bet smaller and take that risk. But it feels pretty fucking good to have this hand and just be like, eh, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm all in. So, I, and the reason I say that is because I'm still going to be an equity favorite against hands like jacks, which are going to have a really hard time folding. Like ace jack didn't fold, right? So like that's kind of my point. Um, yay, we got called. Okay. And... Uh, we were big equity favorites, so that was good. Hopefully, this guy doesn't have a boat. That's not a boat, by the way. Hopefully, this guy calls. Please call this guy. Rat. You rat, you. Ratata. Pokemon lover, let's go, call. How embarrassing is it that I know that? Call, <laughs> just call. Um, come on, dude, press the call button. Damn it. Um, yeah, so it's a small pot. We're gonna bet small. Like, sorry, he's a, uh, he's short. Shallow SPR, I said small pot, but I meant shallow SPR. I opened, he fought at the big blind. I don't hate checking, sometimes. Hmm. I think if he checks, I'm probably gonna double barrel. I have reasons. I don't know how good they are, but there are reasons. They exist. I have reasons. Double barrel. Please fold. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Thank you. Good 
Could just jam this hand. I think that's defensible. We hold. Small one. I'm gonna complete. I'm assuming this is done well and not badly, but I don't have any reason to assume it's done either well or badly. So we're just going to start with the assumption that's being done well. If it's being done badly, it'll introduce its own problems later. And for him, not me. And um, I'll take advantage of it later. We're going to check this back on the flop and get cute. Because we, uh, well, we hit, hit, hit. And it's really hard to hit, hit, hit and have somebody else, you know, just hit enough to get paid a lot of money. So we're going to try to hope somebody just maybe punts. With a pot size bet on the turn, that would be like really nice if somebody would just like do that for us. Of course, this player could also have a real hand. So we just got asked the question over here. Uh, what am I doing playing 33s? Hopefully this is an ace nine and it's pocket nines or something because it doesn't seem like a bluff. Okay, didn't expect it to be pocket kings. See, so we opened pocket kings, big blind called. Um, we hit, hit, hit the flop again. Hey, pretty good, right? Doesn't feel like a flop that I'm allowed to have a checking range on, guys. How many big blinds is this? Is he like really short? It feels like he's really short. Gonna call. But, oh, by the way, like when, if he's really short, then I can have a checking range. Like if he's really, if we're if we're a little bit deeper, I can't. That's kind of the. That's like that's a big part of it, right? So. Jam. It sucks to have these blockers. Um, but it doesn't feel like a spot where I'm going to reopen for like half pot runs. So. Um, probably still just a high frequency bet spot. He limped. This player played the small blind. I isolated pre flop. It's not all in. He limp called. This player folded. He bet, he jams, I call, he's gonna mostly have a queen, but there'll be some other hands that I beat. <clears throat> and the odds are good, and there's a KO on his head, and body, body, blah. BBZ here, and I'm just announcing our brand new ICM course on bbzpoker.com. The new ICM course we think is gonna be a game changer for our audience. For the most part, in final tables, as we approach final tables, once we get into the money, we use inside BBZ radically different strategies than what we use in other scenarios. And we don't actually see that from a lot of our opponents. And we think that this is just something that will add a lot of value, open up a lot of eyes in terms of what we're doing differently and ultimately improve win rates. So you can again find that on bbzpoker.com. Look forward to seeing you guys there. Thanks very much. All right, um, so I isolated, he called. He's got a properly constructed range. Uh, I'm not gonna see bet range. I'm going to bet sometimes and check sometimes. Um, I think within that. that being said, I'm going to bet this hand. You make arguments around betting to a large size, I think. Rational. I expect a lot of two betting. I'm probably going to call a two bet. <clears throat> I don't love my suits. I like my suits for betting, which is why I bet. ended up betting. I don't like my sizing that much. I think I probably should bet bigger. But I don't think it matters that much. I don't really like my suits for bluffing the turn either. Oh, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna bluff the river. I do think I'm gonna lose a lot. Like I think he's still got a lot of really strong hands here. So it's not like I think this is like a panacea and it's always gonna work, but um, I still think I should do it. And uh, yeah, I opened. He flatted the big blind. I'm submitting the flop. Pretty standard. We have the kings again. This is a very attractive spot to pick them up. Flat eight six off in the big. Did not catch the pop of my dreams. Oh, out. I think I'm still stuff. Really close. Yeah, I'm gonna fold. I don't know. I mean, like I, th I think that the 
the way that this math works is like more intense than other spots. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold there. So it goes like donk bet and then call, which I kind of expect to be like a lot of pocket sixes and pocket fours. But I mean, like, what else is he really gonna do with pocket ten with like ten x, right? So I, I mean, is he gonna jam? I guess he could. Um, so like, I'm a little bit concerned about this ratata range. I think this is gonna be like a lot of sixes and fours. But let's be honest, I have kings. There's too much money in the middle. There's hundred thousand. I have ninety two thousand left. We are running it and probably gonna lose to sixes or fours from this player like pretty often. Pretty often. This player, I'm not worried about. So if this player has sixes or fours, I'll be surprised. Okay, I'll be like, I'm wrong. I don't know what's going on with this player, but I don't expect to lose to this player's hand. This guy, he could call. I hope he calls. I hope Card Charmer calls. Radita, I'm much more concerned about. Fuck. Told you. I still don't think I can do anything with kings, though. You know what I mean? Like, I have fucking kings. Like, I wouldn't do anything with stupid, but... Um, I don't think I can do anything about that. Like, I, I don't, I just don't think so. I mean, if I can, I'll be like mind blown. Feels like I can. <clears throat> Radita's gonna have sixes there a lot. <laughs> Radita's gonna have sixes there a lot. But again, I like the stack to pot rate. Like, I just don't, I don't think Kings goes anywhere. I don't think Kings goes anywhere. I think you just like, uh, well, this sucks. I mean, I don't think that player has nines or eights or sevens or fives or threes. But I think that player could have like Jack 10 suited. It's possible. Ace 10 suited. That's possible still. King 10, Queen 10 suited. They might shove though versus that bet, but they still have me to deal with. So like maybe not. They're definitely not going to like. I don't think most people are going to fold with, with like those hands. Like they're kind of possible, but like kind of not really possible. Like they should kind of fold pre maybe. They should like maybe jam the flop. They should maybe fold if they're not going to jam the flop. So it's a really awkward spot for that hand. So it's just more likely that sixes are fours. But. Six or four is just three combos. I mean, you know, the tens are only three combos a piece, but there's more of them. So it's a tough spot for me. It's a tough spot for me with the odds I'm getting and stuff. So I do expect to lose a lot. Like I said, sucks. I don't think I can do anything about it. Okie dokie, guys. We got sixes and then somebody opened and we're going to re-steal for 20 bigs, which seems beyond standard. We're five places off pay jump, so there's nothing to like time bank down for or anything. I'm gonna jam and hope he folds. I don't think calling is like bad. Um, so I think you, I think you can call. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm shit with like this, like you know where exactly it falls type of thing. Five would be cool. Um, but yeah, I mean the three seems relatively borderline standard. Okay, now we're really gonna need some other game. Managed to closing the player groups. I'm trying to pull the player group now. I'm a I'm a I'm a full disclosure guy. Hide behind the fucking curtain guy, so um yeah, so I isolated here. I think I, I can't remember if I better check back because I'm trying to do this thing. Um Obviously, float here or raise. I guess I'm gonna check back here. So, I did isolate pre flops. So I don't really expect much to interact with the six or the four for the limp calling range. So, probably gonna call a river bet. Even if I bet the flop, you have seven sometimes or something. And a jack. So. Lots of bluffs to choose from, probably. I have a big bet, but I still think I'm gonna... I don't think I... I think I end up here with, like, way too many unpaired hands. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I don't think that, that hand's supposed to limp call. But, you know, whatever. I'm flat, I don't think it's great. You bet? Gonna bet small. Reasonable to me. What is checking. Do anything there? Hold this hand. You can do bet here. Although it sucks. Didn't happen. Wish you would have just called. But that's not what happened. So. Those weird cards. 
or I'm dead against his value bets. Need him to not be value betting. Seems very close between shoving and limping. Turn here. Take it down. Up here. I, don't, I think that's close. Seems like it could be either the bottom or it's gonna flat sixes here in the big. I think it's close in the 500. Um, this is the 1K. Uh, EP opened and I flatted the big like min raise. Then I flatted the big line with King Six off. Like this is the bottom of my big line flat. I don't think I'm not jumping up and down to defend this hand against the UTG open, but I don't think it's a fold. Sixes here feels close. Jamming seems fine against the sizing. Um, I'm gonna call here with the king jack off. And we get nuked on the flop, basically, because that's like the worst flop ever. The six is re-steal uh, we took down. Uh, face double barrel and... I don't have the right suits for calling the turn. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to flat here much. Um, it's possible his hand's pure fold here. But... Eh. There might be like a really small flatting range against UTG and like no flatting range against... I expect there to be no flatting range against the cutoff and the hijack and I'm not really sure if I get to have a small flatting range against the... So... If I am allowed to have one against the UTG player then I think this is fine. Holding this hand sucks. All the flop. Kinda hate life. Wish I wasn't in the spot but it is what it is. 10? I need a 10. Going to turn check. Because the betting range is probably polarized to a sec. Beat. And I'm going to buff the river. Reasonable thing to do. Still expect to get snapped by an ace. It's going to happen. It's not going to always happen. I don't know how meaningful that is then, but you know, it is what it, it is. What it is. People asked to see it. I showed them. Um, you bet here. I think you can use a range of sizings. That'll be. And this one will be fine. to call. Everything else sucks. Not a part of how I would 3-bet. Not a part of how I'd fold. So. Leaves what we did. So we're on the bubble of the 1k, but not because we did anything smart, but because this player gobbled up everybody else. So um, we're in a fight with ASDFG to try not to die. Good luck us. I'm gonna call here. Uh, I think it's pretty standard. And we bricked, which was not what was supposed to happen. And I have like the worst blockers ever for bluffing. It is pretty difficult to like double float with total air, but I feel like this is still gonna be pretty pits for bluffing the river. If he checks, that doesn't make it easy uh, on me at all. All right, ace 10 offsuit. We got five bigs. We're jamming. We hope he calls the ace nine offsuit and we hope that he doesn't fucking spike. Okay, we'll take the fold. We have four high, so we're not gonna run it here. Oh, not not high player has a good hand and bust ace, ASDFG. There we go. Yes, we cashed the 1K, ladies and gentlemen, which means we had a winning sit and go session. Nothing else matters. <laughs> That's uh, 4,000 to first and 2,000 for a min cash. And we didn't play two that, like we might've played $1,800. $1,700 in buy-ins in total. So, 
We had a winning sit and go session. Go us. Why? Because this guy busted everybody in the 1K. I didn't do shit. If I had in the big blind here, I am going to ac actually take this hand and buff the turn with it. Just based on suit. I think like, this can get like slotted into a bet large range sometimes. Type of a board texture. I'd be wrong about that, so like don't quote me. I should fold this. Ooh, we ran into a pair. That's nine. I'll get there. We lose. <clears throat> so yeah, we cashed for um, two thousand fifty-five bucks. Two thousand fifty-five bucks. Not the worst. Oh. What was my biggest punt with money when I first scored a large amount? I mean, like the thing that I wasted all my money on was, I'm going to call his this if this player folds. I fold a lot of hands here, but not this one. Um, even though my range is mostly capped, I don't think it matters much of this SPR. That's basically like flop a hand that I can go with. You can see what I mean. Like if I, if, if the top card was a jack or something, or if the top card was a queen, like we just, we have a one-to-one -one SPR. Fine. Oh, I'm not going to get all emotional about it. I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm supposed to jam or float. It doesn't feel like a spot where jamming is very good because it feels real shit, but falling and folding turn feels real shit too. I'm just gonna jam because I don't know. Um, it feels like the least bad option, but I should have called. I don't like that's fine, like as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, we'll just call it there because I'm not gonna re enter with like, you know, at this point in the day, like I'm not playing any other. Finish this out here with this uh, bubble of this $500 six max hyper. If you haven't checked out the introduction to quantitative strategies video, that's the video that is going to be most impactful, I think, for all of you guys that are watching. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys know about the ICM course and stuff. You can go check it out on bbzpoker.com. Range converter is the inputs for all of my peel solver models. So anybody that's looking to do that type of work, Go to rangeconverter.com, check that stuff out. Um, I think we got some questions earlier in the stream, which I think it was today, might have been yesterday, about cash games. Like they have cash games, they have everything. So like I said, we'll just highly recommend checking out what they've got going on. All here. Hope to fade. Hope to fade. We do fade. We do. For the chip leader. Chip leader. We get to do stuff. Not to just fold now. We get to do stuff like this. Let's hope he folds. We get to do stuff. Do I have any family plans for the summer? Um, I'm trying to think. No, um, nothing like, because we don't even know what we're gonna be able to do, right? Like we're gonna, you know, like, so there's no, there's no plan because I mean like whatever, it's obviously standard as hell on my part. Boom, we spike, we hold, we hold, right? We hold, yes, you love it. Oh shit. Whoever said sit and goes, whoever said sit and goes, I love you. Everybody that typed SNG in that chat, I love you guys. I love you guys. Six big blinds, queen five off. I think it's a call, don't know. I would have called it this too, but I don't know. That might be bad. Not gonna do anything like this. Whoever said sit and goes, you guys made me an extra whatever you ended up making me. We'll see. This one's first place is 2000 in this, right? First place is 1899. 1899. Lord Bar's birthday, because he's an old man. Pretty old birthday. Um, all right. Crazy. Why does somebody have aces there? Gonna call. The limp's gonna jam. Okay. Gonna call. Darn. Let's get. Nope. We lose. Now we've got to do this like long ass war or just be busto immediately. Which is fine. I mean, it happens. That's not a good flop. Good turn though. Hmm. It's a less good river. All right, we're done. Um. So we cashed for like I don't know a thousand there. Uh. Cashed for. So I'm out. We cashed for uh two thousand in the one case. So we made like. 
how much did I say? 1,000, 1,700, yeah, 1,300 bucks, 1,300 bucks playing Satan goes, it's good, we'll take it. So, all right guys, thanks very much. I appreciate everybody who hung out. Just a quick reminder, follow me on Twitch, subscribe to the YouTube channel, buy the introduction to quantitative strategies video, check out the ICM course, go to bbzpoker.com and then go to Range Converter. Peace, thanks for the home game support. I appreciate it guys, and I will be back hopefully later this week.